Hi, do you need to add a new user account in Windows 7 or maybe just create a test account? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. My name is Adam from Micro Center Tech Support and let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, let's take a look at how to add a user account in Windows 7. To begin, let's click on the Start button in the bottom left corner of the screen and then click on Control Panel on the right side. Once this screen opens up, first check on the top right under View By. Make sure it says Category. If not, click on that option and just choose a category from the drop down. Once that's set, underneath User Accounts and Family Safety, there is a section that says Add or Remove User Accounts. Go and click on that. You may be prompted to allow or grant permission to continue. Go ahead and choose the allow or yes option to proceed. On this new screen down towards the bottom, there's an option that says create a new account. Go ahead and click on that option. Once this opens up, the first thing is to create a new account name. Go ahead and enter the account name. In this example, we will go ahead and enter the name example. Next is to choose whether the account is a standard user or an administrator. A standard user has access to use a computer and change files within their own account, but they do not have access to install programs or add additional features along those lines. A standard user is a better option in terms of security, but if a user needs administrative access, you can go ahead and choose the administrator option as well. Once that's selected, go ahead and choose the create account option across the bottom. On the next screen, you should see the new user show up. In this example, it is named example and it is set as a standard user. Once the user account is added, you also have the option to click on that user account and create a password if it is desired. To create the password, simply click on create a password on the left side. There's also the option to change a picture or to set up parental controls for that account. Later on, you can also change the account type from standard user to administrator or back and forth if need be as well. That's how to add a user account within Windows 7. If you have any additional questions, or need further information, please visit our website at www.microcentertech.com. Thanks for joining us.